In New England, we have a, a great heritage for crown fish fishery. In fact, New England was founded based on cod. Everybody likes to target cod or haddock. So individual anglers on a vessel don't necessarily think they're having a, a large impact on the recreational fishery and the fishery as a whole. But when you add up all of these anglers fishing on all of these boats throughout the Gulf of Maine, uh, there's a large impact. There are thousands and thousands of anglers making many, many trips. But that means that small changes in how recreational fishing is operated can have a big impact on the rates of fish that are dying from the recreational fishery. Every day, every year in the recreational fishery, tons of fish are being thrown back. Not all of the fish that are thrown back survive. That is what is known as release mortality. Understanding release mortality is critical to appropriately managing fish stocks. So over the last five or so years, a team of science and industry partners, we've come together to try and answer some critical questions in the Gulf of Maine recreational ground fish fishery. Those questions are centered around what is the release mortality rate of important species and what can anglers do to increase the chances of survival among the fish they release. What we want to know is what happens to this fish when we let it go? What can we do to improve survivorship? This is really important um, when you look at the size of the recreational industry and the impact they actually have on ground fish stocks. One of the goals of this study is to first calculate the release mortality associated with different gear types but second, and almost more importantly, be able to generate a set of recommendations for anglers to say, you should use this and not that if you want to give the fish you release the best chance of survival um, after you throw them back. And we want anglers to be catching fish with gear that is gonna do the least amount of damage. It's important for individual anglers to practice responsible angling because there's a misconception that recreation anglers do not have a big impact on fish populations. But when you think about one angler fishing and you think about a boatload of anglers fishing and then multiply that up through hundreds of boats fishing in a given summer or a given year, that effect becomes greater. If everyone does their part, there can be a greater benefit to the health population of the fish. Our research is important in this Gulf of Maine ground fish recreational fishery because our data allows people to continue to fish and to fish responsibly and to give fish the best fighting chance they can to keep their population healthy. We are really excited to be able to do research that we really feel helps preserve these fish populations so that the fishing industry can prosper here in the Gulf of Maine. Fishing is so much uh, about the experience. But what's real important is the experience of being out on the water and, and, and going on a fishing trip. It doesn't always mean that you have to fill your cooler, um, catch your bag limit every time, but the idea is you get to get out, you get to feel that tug of a fish on the end of your line. The exciting part is really in, trying to think about what is this, what am I gonna see? What is this fish I have on the end of my line? If we can keep it, great. Um, if it's within regulations, uh, but if it's not, Let's throw it back in the best condition possible uh, so that it's going to survive.